My name is Christine Miller and I have been weaving for over 45 years. I want to show you how I make one of my favorite things, a hand woven hand towel. The first step is to create the warp or the vertical threads that are going to go on the loom. The towels I weave have 440 threads, each 10 meters long. I change the colors of the warp threads as I need to when I measure it out. I make two bouts of warp threads to be wound onto the loom. Winding the warp takes patience and precision and is a little dance you have with the yarn before you begin the weaving. The threads are organized with an X cross to keep their positions in order. Before rolling the warp onto the back beam of the loom, I rough slay the threads in a specialized tool called a rattle that will space the warp threads across the width of the finished fabric. This step goes quickly. You can see how the threads are kept in order with the leaf sticks that create the cross. Every warp thread is in its place. Here is the warp ready to be rolled onto the loom. It's exciting to see the completed warp ready to be rolled on. Tied onto the back bar check, threaded through the rattle check, it's go time. I'm lucky to have an awesome assistant to help me roll on the warp. Mr. Miller is a highly trained helper and is my warping buddy. He usually winds the warp onto the back beam while I keep the warp threads under tension at the front of the loom. There are several methods of winding a warp onto a loom. This method works for us. We place sticks between the layers of warp to keep the threads separated. This helps control the tension of the warp throughout the weaving process. Once the warp is rolled on, I now pull each individual warp thread through the heddles that are on the harnesses of the loom. Not my favorite part of the weaving process, but necessary to get to the fun part. The order of the threading creates the type of woven structure in the fabric. My hand towels use a point twill structure that creates the alternating diagonal lines in the finished towel. If you pull a warp thread through a wrong heddle, it will create a mistake in your fabric. I always double check my threading before I move to the next step of warping the loom. When all of the warp threads are threaded through the heddles, I then pull them through the reed of the beater. The reed also spaces the threads out in the cloth and my towels have 24 warp ends per inch. It's possible to make a mistake here as well and takes a trained eye to make sure I didn't skip a space in the reed. I'm getting closer to weaving. I use a surgeon's knot to begin tying the warp to the cloth beam tie bar. It's another step in which the tension of the warp is carefully adjusted so the cloth will weave up smoothly. The next step is to wind the bobbin with the color for the next towel that's to be woven. And finally, the weaving begins. I like to say that this is where my heart beats, at the loom with the rhythm of the beater. I've been weaving a long time, so I can weave pretty quickly. Another thing that's really fun is watching the woven cloth wind onto the cloth beam at the front of the loom. Once the warp is finished, it's cut off the loom and into the washer it goes for wet finishing. Many woven textiles are not finished until they are washed, which is when some shrinkage takes place. Then it is tumble dried to complete the finishing process. Each towel is then carefully cut apart and the cut edge is stitched on a sewing machine with a wide zigzag stitch to lock the threads together. So you can see there's a lot of love and care that goes into every hand woven piece of cloth. I'm so proud to be able to create cloth that is both beautiful and functional. And I hope you've learned a little bit more about how hand woven cloth is created.
A nice press with a hot steamy iron really transforms the cloth into its finished state. I press the hem with the iron and pin it for hand stitching. In the weaving world, most weavers I know believe strongly that hand-woven fabric should be hand-hemmed and not machine-hemmed. Stitching the hem is the last bit of love I put into the towel before it goes to its new home. Each time I change the weft color, the fabric shifts into a new color combination and changes the personality of the fabric. I just love watching the new fabric being created one thread at a time as I weave. I hope this gives you a little education on why handwoven towels, mine or others, are priced the way they are. They may be pricey when purchased, but a good towel will last you for many years to come. If you would like to see more of my weaving, visit my website at christinekmiller.com.